everybody what's up i hope that you all are doing well in today's video i'm going to be installing a wig something i haven't done in a very long time in a few years on my channel i received a wig from eula hair they sent me an hd lace front straight wig 18 inches so here's a look at the wig that i received from them i have never worked with hd lace before so this will be a first for me. I'm gonna try really hard to make this wig look really good. Like, I'm determined, so let's hop into this. <laughs> hey, it's voiceover me. I'm going to be doing a lot of first time techniques in this video, so let me know if there's anything I can work on. <laughs> but to start, I am just smoothing out my edges with some gel, just to get them flat under the cap and all that. <laughs> All right, so I be seeing people nowadays putting, ooh, I'm scared, putting holes by the ear. Ooh. The last time I put a wig on or like did a review, this was not a thing. <laughs> so bear with me because this is my first time. Trying to be gentle. Hope I did that right. <laughs> <sighs> okay i did that side a lot better okay cool now fabrice <laughs> got to be glued free spray this is a first for me as well i worry so much about my edges i don't know how people do this every day it's like people's hair doesn't get pulled out from this i don't know so I did watch a few different YouTube videos on how to apply a wig, um, but I was still pretty confused, like where exactly do I glue the cap on, where do I cut it at, do I do it right in front of my hairline, drastically in front of it, like I don't know. Your girl was a little confused, so I just kind of, I just kind of went with the flow, yeah. <laughs> And then this makeup thing, like I get, I get the concept of doing makeup on the cap to blend with your scalp and your skin, but this will be my first and last time doing that technique because I just don't like the idea of makeup being on my hair. I don't know. I just wasn't a fan. I just, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna stick with just using brown um, wig caps. <laughs> Yeah, I'ma stick with it, cause that whole maker thing. That just, I just, I wasn't feeling it. You know, I'm not saying. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm doing right now is just moving all that hair out the way, so I can kind of measure the wig on my head, and then I cut these ear tabs. Um, just cause the wig was a teeny tiny bit too large for me, just a little bit. So I just cut it to help it fit better, and then I went in with this got to be glue free spray i started out by using this um but it was just very messy and i didn't like how crusty it was making the hair on the wig so i went in with the got to be glue gel um i'm used to this technique uh, so i went back to my roots <laughs> and i was more comfortable with this and i'm usually a lot cleaner with this than i was using the free spray Now, let me tell y'all, I think that I may have free sprayed a little too far up my forehead because it was difficult to get this lace off. <laughs> um, what I usually do is cut the lace off on a mannequin head before I even apply the wig. But like I said, I was trying new things, so I tried to cut the lace while it was on my head. And this was a no-go for me as well. Like... I didn't like cutting that close to my head and then like I said I just glued way too much of that lace to my head so I'm going to stick 
with cutting the lace off prior to gluing the wig on <laughs> but once I finally got it off I went into styling I initially wanted to style this wig in uh, with a side part so that's what you see me here is using the flat iron using the hot comb to get a very very defined side part this was also my first time using a hot comb while styling a wig <laughs> i did really really like using a hot comb so i do want to make that a thing i probably need to get my own hot comb though because that's my roommate's hot comb <laughs> but yeah so i am now curling the ends i really like the look of a side part and curled in so that's what i decided to go with As I was curling, I did decide that I was not feeling the defined part. It just wasn't sitting right with me. So I did go back in with the hot comb to break that side part up and just, just put the hair in a more flipped over natural kind of look. So that's what I'm doing here is just really getting that part out of there that I had just put in. And then I also went in and lay some of the baby hairs. I didn't do any cutting of the baby hairs or anything. I just stuck with what came with the wig. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm still trying to figure out this lash life. I'm not good at putting on strip lashes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am all done with my hair. I freaking love it. This HD lace is everything. I'm really proud of myself for having not applied a wig in a very long time. I think I did a good job, especially for trying new techniques for the first time as well. <laughs> I didn't do any plucking. I didn't do any cutting. Like, I kind of just used the baby hairs that I already came with. I didn't bleach. I didn't change anything in this hair. Literally all I did was cut the lace off. That's literally all I did. And this is what we got. I think the reason it was easy is because this Eula wig came pretty beginner friendly and easy to apply. I've had these curls in maybe about an hour now and they have not really dropped or anything. Like they're still hold there. And I was over here dancing and making TikToks and stuff. So the curls are holding up very well. Anybody wondering, I am 5'4 and a half. And this wig, like I said earlier, is 18 inches. So this is where it falls on me. Basically just just under my boob is where it falls. All the specs to this wig, the direct link to this wig will be down below in the description for you if you are interested in purchasing this wig, which I do highly, highly recommend. So that's the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you didn't, keep your thumbs to yourself. Be kind to yourselves. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.